And you, and you, you can't forget our other promise either, right? We won't. Good. Because the governor's got a, got a real important secret mission. And, and, and if you guys say that you know me, or that we're friends, or you even act like we're buddies, you're going to blow the whole thing. I mean that we can't see you at dark either? No. Remember? He said we have to pretend like we hate him. That's right. If anybody asks you, you say, Todd, oh, man, I hate him. He's terrible. Okay, you do that. I don't like that governor. I don't either, but this is a, you know, it's a pretty good mission. It's a secret mission. Are you really going to save more people? Yeah. Would I lie to you? I'm going to save a whole bunch of people. But, uh, it's got to be a secret or, you know, it's just not going to work. Okay, so remember. No more visits. Right. I hate your guts. <laughs> That's good, that's yeah. good, that's great, but you gotta say it like you mean it, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you guys get inside now, Scoot? Okay. Come on now. Just uh, my children. What did you no, do no, with my they're, children? They're inside. I, I just um, I brought them home. That's all. You brought them. What were they doing with you in the first place? It's not what you think. Hold on a second. Tina, who is this? Todd Manning. Don't just stand there. Call the police. Wait. Don't talk, don't call the cops. Okay. I I I didn't do anything to them. Oh. CJ and Sarah. They came to see me. If you expect me to believe that... Ask them, okay? Ask them. You know, they snuck out of the house and they took CJ's bike over and CJ's bike is missing, right? It's not here. Tina, he might be telling of the truth. Of course I'm telling you the truth. I know those kids don't belong with me. I told them to forget about me, to not even think of me as a friend. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? After you got them to help you get out of prison? You think whatever you want. The last thing I want is those kids mixed up in my life. You know, I promised Cord that I would never let anything happen to CJ and Sarah, and that's a promise that I plan to keep. Mom? No, go inside, CJ. Sarah... Tell Todd to go away. We thought he was our friend, so we went to see him. See? what I tell you? But he's not our friend. I don't know what you're up to, Todd Manning, and I don't care. If I find you within 10 feet of these children, I'm going to send you back to Statesville, and I'm going to make sure you stay there. Tina, why don't we just get the kids back in the house, okay? I remember what you did to Luna Moody, and I remember what you did to Nora Gannon, and I remember what you did to Marty Saybrook. It makes me ill to think you used them to help get you out of prison. Get out of here. Yeah, get away. Yeah, go. Go. So if you found the right guy, whoever he is, go for it. What is stopping you? Marty? Hello, Marty? Marty? That's, sorry, Kevin. What did you say? You said you deserved to be happy, and then you went off into the twilight zone. Oh, uh, uh, just some guy I know, okay? So you like him, and? And nothing. He's unavailable. Not married? How do you feel about you? <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't think of me that way. So I'm not gonna go and make myself feel worse than I already do. By going after someone that I can never have. Marty, you don't know that. I know. See, because there's married, and then there's married. And he is married. Okay. Just ask. Well, don't. And don't start feeling sorry for me either. Because I'm used to it. Just when I try to get things behind me because of the rape. After Swade's death. After everything else that's happened to me. I start to feel like I can live a little. It's typical follow my heart, and I take a giant leap in the wrong direction. No, that's not difficult, because this time around, you know it's the wrong direction. And that is a big turnaround for you, Marty. 
Just like you know you are not going to find the answer to your problems in the bottom of that glass. Who's looking for the answers? Maybe I just want to try to block everything out for a little while. Okay. Just did two double shots of vodka. Did that work? I hate smart people. I hate them very much. You shouldn't be here, Marty. You should be with people that care about you. <laughs> You don't understand. No, look, Marty. I know you lost your house, but you have not lost your friends. People like me. All right, people like Andrew and Cassie, you're, you're staying at their place, right? I'm not going back there. Why not? I stayed too long. Did they tell you that? No, because they want to make you feel at home, because they care about you, because they love you. Well, Marty. they shouldn't. They shouldn't be so good to me. They can't help it. Why don't you go back there? What is stopping you? You're right, Kevin. I should never have come here. Good. My car's parked right outside. Let me no, give you a ride to Andrew fine. Cassie. Come on. We'll continue this conversation. All right. As long as you promise to clear, keep off the topic of the men in my life, I'd rather talk about the women in yours. What do you say we keep both topics off limits? <laughs> Deal. Todd. Don't even think about trying it. No, it's okay, Kevin. It doesn't scare me anymore. It's more like a bad smell that I just can't seem to get rid of. Then get over it. I'm a free man, Marty. We're both gonna have to deal with that. Could that's some kind of a threat, Todd. No, it's okay. He's right. I do have to deal with it. I can't run, I can't hide, and neither can you. You ruined my life once. And I am not gonna let it happen again. Stay away from Marty, Todd. If you do anything, and I mean anything to hurt Marty again, I swear to you. What, you're a boyfriend now? No, I'm just a friend. Not that you know what one is, because you don't have any. But let me tell you, it's someone who looks out for someone else. Why don't you stop running for president of the frat house, Kevin? Didn't you graduate? Oh, that's right. You feel comfortable hanging around with snot-nosed, preppy little frat boys just like you. Well, I guess we all can't graduate from Statesville Prison, can we? I put my education up against yours any day. Okay, take it outside. Well, you heard the man, Kevin. Why don't you go back to your big white house up on the hill and stop playing a hero? I'm talking to you, man. To me, what I do. Oh, I don't have to do anything, huh? I'm just me, that's enough? Let me tell you something. I have just as much of a right to be here as he does. I am tired of being treated like a freak. I am just as good as the Buchanans, the Marty Saybrooks, and everyone else in this town. Maybe better. Because at least I know how screwed up I am. Which is more than I can say for your good friend Marty. Get out of my way.